Lords Mobile is another iteration in the long tradition of massive multiplayer games that give you control of a small town, build an army, and try to conquer other players. Lords Mobile seeks to replicate the success of so many other games like Clash of Clans, but with the added benefit of more visual effects and more focus on building up one's town. The game begins with some sort of story background that doesn't really hold a lot of relevancy to the game, or even to the progressing story, but is very pretty all the same. You're then thrust into the game proper with some rather scantily dressed characters informing you what to do next, including the standard build a farm and upgrade your castle, as tends to be the standard in this genre of games. From there, the tutorial characters keep giving you instruction how to play, including attack some NPC towns with weak forces, giving you a little taste of the battles. The actual battles themselves are pretty enough. With some visual effects with arrows flying and enemies being tossed like ragdolls, it is certainly visually pleasing. The only problem is that you don't really participate in the fight at all. You can control the direction the camera faces when fighting, but other than that, you just sit back and watch the battle take place. It's pretty clear who's going to win due to the military strength meter at the bottom, so it's just watching your enemies batter down the enemy wall until it falls down, a brief and awkward pause, and then fighting the enemy troops. Although a pleasing visual experience is important for games like this, it would certainly be great if you could actually participate in the cool battles unfolding right in front of you. At least in other games of this genre, they hide the battle through statistic screens and battle reports. In Lords Mobile, it almost feels like you're being teased with the possibility of fighting a cool battle, only to have the opportunity taken away from you. Another issue of Lords Mobile is the absolute overcrowding of the user interface. There are just simply far too many screens and UI information clogging up your phone. So much information overload and having to click through so many screens means it's entirely unclear what's going on. Every mission or objective completed rewards you with tons of resources and loads of other experience points or other stats, but none of it really means anything due to massive information overload. It very much feels like Lords Mobile is trying to create the new thing, something to supplant the current leaders of this genre. It would appear they decided to do this by including far too much additional intricacies and details, hoping it would add further complexity to the game. Instead of additional complexity making a better game, Lords Mobile is just a confusing mess, filled with loads of tooltips and info, but not a lot of different gameplay. Some of the animations are pretty, but the lack of interesting gameplay or really any kind of differences from other games makes Lords Mobile difficult to play and even more difficult to enjoy.